Welcome back to World of Warships Legends with Red Sorax, and today we're going to see how to troll a team in the Gross Curve first. So, before I get to the video, I want to say that I actually did get this situation with the prizes overseas taken care of. So, now, from now on, it can be open to anybody overseas as long as they have a PayPal account. That'll be the stipulation. The US, I just need an email and I can take care of it with a gift card through Xbox or PlayStation. Overseas will be paid out through a direct payment to PayPal. And the next giveaway will be at 100 subscribers. So when I hit 100 subscribers, I'm going to give away the equivalent of a tier 4 ship in the game. Premium. Now, as you can see, we're, we've got the gross curve first on screen. Second largest ship in the game. Yamato only being larger. But this has the hardest, biggest broadside in the game. And I'll demonstrate why in a little while. Both excited to get the ship and disappointed in getting the ship. And you'll see why in a little bit. We will go ahead and take a look at the commander now. We're running Henry J. Hyde, the Halloween commander. With Wrenchman Extraordinaire as his base. Which gives us 4.8% extra HP to the health pull of the ship. In slot 1 we have Brawler which gives us a faster reload, torpedo detection range, and then of course our range of our guns are less. And in slot two we have Porcupine because I go for all my German battleships with a secondary build. In slot three we have Marksmanship which allows the dispersion of our guns to be better, but our rudder shift time is slower. In our fourth slot we have Master Mechanic which gives us Better repair, reload time, amount recovered, and gives us an extra repair. And in our legendary slot, we have running with scissors because as kids who didn't want to run with scissors, it's, it helps the rudder shift time and the traverse of the guns. And our first inspiration is William Sims sticking with the health build tank build. And our second inspiration is... Franz von Hipper for the secondary build and he's level 19 out of 20 so I barely have any more to get out of him. And in our first slot for the secondary build we go for second battery mod 2 which gives us more range and a better dispersion of our second battery. And in our next slot we're running damage control because that's in my opinion what you run on a battleship. In our next slot, we are running Target Acquisition Mod 1 because it's the only thing you can run in this slot. And in the fourth slot, to stay with our secondary build, we are running Secondary Battery Mod 3 for a better reload time. And with this ship, we have an extra mod, and this is an extra special one in my opinion. This allows you to run the 420mm guns instead of the standards and we'll get more into that in a minute. With this tank build that gives me 102,830 health points. That's right, over 100,000 damage hit points. Okay, now this is where we're gonna spend a little bit of time. Main battery mod that I put on gave us the 420 millimeter guns, which gives us a firing range of 15.6 kilometers and a 28 0.8 second reload with the guns being able to turn 32.7 seconds 180 degrees now with the magic of editing I will put on screen the standard sh uh, guns would you look at that almost like I know what I'm doing with the 406 which is the standard guns that come with this you have the exact same firing range but you have a 1.8 second faster reload the damage, however, that you can do per shell is 12,000 less than you have on the larger guns. With only 200 less per 
maximum damage of the HE shells. And you also lose 3% in your chance to set fire. Now everybody knows that watches my videos knows I love a secondary build. So let's take a look at the secondary build. Well, this is maxed out at 7.6 kilometers with a reload time of 3.2 seconds. Now, this is where it gets to pissing me off and disappoints me that I got this ship. Again, through the magic of edit, let's go ahead and look at some other ships at top tier. Here's the Odin. And what do we know? Tier 7. Now, I'm in a legendary at 7.6. The Odin has 7.6 and a 2.9 second reload time. And here's the Tirpitz, 8.3 kilometers with a 2.7 reload time. And let's take one last look at the Bismarck with a 2.2 second reload time and an 11.4 kilometer range. Now I'm in a legendary ship. I had a, this one supposed to be better than all the rest, and yet. I still feel it drops far behind in its secondary of batteries. Now they say, and I don't know this for a fact, it's supposed to make up for it in other ways, like a better sigma, which means better dispersion, but I can't see those factors in here. So in my opinion, you might want to think about a different build other than secondary build. That just doesn't seem very legendary to me. And let's look at the next stat and maneuverability we have 30.9 knots with a big old turning circle of 1050 meters and of course concealment which nobody really cares about the concealment in the battleship let's go ahead and take a look at the game and today we've got the sea of fortune map and if you're wondering where the trolling comes in and we'll show you here in a second. Here we go. And here's the troll. We brought three gross curfers for you. 300,000 hit points of damage to tank. So I've got my two best friends, Bantha Fodder and Red Lobster, OG. You know, because he's the original gangster Red Lobster. And we're all in gross curfers. So now, I'm looking around the map, trying to figure out where everybody's at, and of course we got put at different spawns. And we're all discussing which way to go. And we decided, take a quick look at the map again, we decided to head over to A. So we're gonna head to A together as a troop, and we are going to bully whatever we have. Now, it only has two destroyers on each side, and we're just hoping that, you know, we don't get punked out by destroyers here. And we didn't, you know, for the luck of it. Uh, destroyers were held at bay. Cruisers moved up. So the battleships could do their job. Destroyers went out and spotted so the cruisers could do their job. And battleships could do their job. Everybody worked well together. This isn't a, this isn't a game of high scoring, super high scoring game. It's just everybody did their job quite well together. And the Udachi's taking off over there. And like I said, we're heading to A together and we see nothing on the map for a while here. And I'm impressed that the Gross Kerfers has seven planes on it. I think it's a bit ridiculous the ship should come with seven planes. I couldn't, if they had a one minute cooldown, I couldn't use all these things in one game. So we got a Bismarck and we called him out. This is going to be our priority target. We have all went ahead and prioritized him together. Now I went ahead and took the lead. I'm very aggressive and I went ahead and took the lead. Now we've got HE spam coming in on us. Obviously there's a cruiser back there and this is what they're supposed to do. It's a pain in the ass when you're in a destroyer. Oh yes, yeah, somebody just smacked the Bismarck. He got pummeled. <laughs> And we got another Bismarck, and he's got a better flat broadside for me. So I'm aiming at the second Bismarck, not aiming at the first one. Get it, my guns out, and I was turning a little bit. And I have a much better broadside than he does. And eh, a little bit damage three. I got one fire going on me. 
No need to put it out. I, I can heal back all the damage. Now you see the Udachi went in. Now I've got two fires. Now that I'm going to go ahead and throw, go ahead and put out. That could burn me down. I'm going to go ahead and throw my first heal up. I took a little bit of damage there. More HE coming in. Udachi got some torpedoes in on the Bismarck. We're still focusing that first Bismarck. There's my partners. Bantha fodder. And I got the kill. A <laughs> lot of damage going on right there. A lot of damage. Now I'm still moving up. Going to keep pushing, pushing this. We're going to keep the pressure on. They're already down one tier seven, but I don't want to get too close to the Bismarck, so I'm going to try and peel out here. Hopefully, I don't get punished for it. We do have Turtleback Armor, and at this range, it should protect me. So, as long as he stays out of my superstructure. Just missed the ship right there. I believe that was an Iowa. And those torpedoes. That's kind of why I want to not head off into there. And you got more... You've got more torpedoes coming. Oh, man, he's the eye. I was just going to eat those torpedoes. See, I, my spider sense was just a tingling there. So I didn't catch those torpedoes. Now, here we are at 6.8, and I'm just not seeing, and that Bismarck's just getting chewed up, torpedoes, guns. But look at my my secondaries, people. This is what irks me. I would, And there's my partner, Red Lobster, just took out the Bismarck. The secondaries... On the Turpits would just have been blistering. the, uh, Or on the Bismarck would have been blistering him. And yet these were just poop, 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 poop. And I only have 19 secondary hits. So I don't think it's even very accurate at the secondary range. Uh, somebody just got dev struck. <laughs> the, our lightning there. So we're down a destroyer. But they're down two top tier battleships. Now that cruiser that was annoying me earlier, which is a Wichita, you can see him on the map. He's just on the other side of that island. He's backed up to that island. So I'm going to start pushing him. There's a destroyer. Everybody started telling go after him. Yamato's nice big guns. There's that Z-23. And you can see everybody said kill the Z-23 right there. And I don't, have, I don't have anything on him. And you can see my partners are all together. We're all right on, on this base cap right around A pushing up as a unit I'm gonna go after the cruiser still looking for that Z23 everybody wants that and if case you're wondering I am not British I am not Canadian I call it the Z23 because my favorite youtuber of World of Warships the mighty jingles says it and because he's British alright take shots here at the Z23 because he's British, they say Zed, and I picked up on it. So, it's not me trying to mimic him. When I learn the name of something, I go with what they have. And we got we, we got the kill. Not we as in me, but the team got the kill. Wichita, Wichita, I am coming for you, buddy. All over the keyboard for you. <laughs> so, this Wichita doesn't know how much danger is in yet. But he will have a brown alert here in just a second and we are still sitting on one heel and we have got three quarters of our health and there he is Wichita I should have flown a plane right there but he got away with me not spanking his ass on that first one now I just took half his health with the second one secondaries are opening up Wichita is gonna fire upon me I don't have to worry about torpedoes here Americans, the only thing I have to worry about with torpedoes on American are the Atlanta and Flint. So I'm not overly worried about the torpedoes. And we did fly a plane there. And we got a better shot in the second time. Better shot there. My partner, Bantha, just took out the Alaska. So, I mean, we are doing solid work as a team here. Not worried about giving up my broadside to a cruiser. Not, a, not at all here. So... I'm worried he's going for the he's going for the ram here, and then I thought no he's not, and then right here he turns back at me. He was going for the ram, and I was calling him out, and I get the shots off, and we got the kill. <laughs> I was begging my partners to kill him because I did not want him to come right in on me. So as you can see, there's my two partners right beside me. We're moving up together. We're coming in as a team. And this isn't a lemon train where you just everybody goes off on one side of the map and they get 
bound up. This is a squad moving together in unison, talking together. The whole time we are talking together. Now, unfortunately, because I moved so far out to come around, I did not want this Wichita to get away. I am way out of range of everything at the moment. So, I'll just have to tootle up here when I can, but at 30.9 kilometer knots, excuse me, 30.9 knots, I'll get back into the battle shortly. And the Iowa, surprisingly there, he got away with that, and he didn't get away with this one. He, uh, he survived the torpedoes earlier, but he just ate a bunch of them from the lightning. And their lightning did a good job for the most part. And now, get around this island. I'm going to look over here to my partner, Red Lobster. See where his health pool's at. Get the Bismarck over there. I have no shots on him. I mean, I got, I've got range, but I can't see where to put my rounds. And they have him, so it wasn't a big deal. And there's my partner, and he's on perilous health and I was telling him to be careful I told him I'd come up and push up for him so he didn't have to take as much more damage I could be and that's as a team what you really kind of want to do you want to when you're playing tank builds like this you want to be able to I take it some damage and then he takes some damage and then my other partner Bantha takes some damage so we're all taking the damage at a uh, time now we only have one of the two bases and they've had two most of the game and we've definitely dominated our base and now we're gonna push up but they they are losing on points because we've killed all but two of their battleships and we're up we are up on battleships so we're just gonna focus them down we're just gonna work together getting them into a corner and try and get them down. Now, as soon as lightning comes up, I, I start telling people to shoot at them. Of course, you want to kill the destroyer. We're in big battle, battleships, and the last thing we want to get is seen side without them. Oh, that Yamato. He's such a good, just perfect angle, and I just can't get enough on him. Let's try one more set of shells. It looks like he's kind of turning out. And a Yamato, anything other than angled... Yeah, he's gonna get he's gonna feel some pain. Now we still have a decent health growth curve first. He's probably got seventy thousand health. And uh, we're gonna move over because I'm at seventy thousand. He's got about the same um, number of boxes left on his health bar. Take another punt out at that Yamato. Shells out. We got a nice broadside into him. Oh yeah, that looked good. That looked good. Three penetrations. Oh, oh, Grossa just took a thumping right there. Grossa just took a thumping right there. So now he's at half health. And I'm at 92,000 damage. My partners are both at over 100,000 damage. And I'm going to take a broadside at the Grossa curve first. See how well we do. I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> eh, let's hope you, if some of you get that reference. <laughs> not too bad. And I start angling. Keep our angle in here. Let him not be able to get an over penetration. And I'm lining up another shot. And I got a nice flat broadside. And I put out my guns here. Get a good angle in. Those should hit right about his midsection. Shots out not too bad again not too bad not nothing great five pins nothing great but nothing bad and he shoots back and he takes a little bit of health but I've got the health to be able to take this all day versus him and we get the guns ready one more time and line up our shot aiming for upper deck because he's got an angle and what the ass and I look at my best friend and that's Red Lobster stole the kill and it's not that he took it he didn't warn me that the shots were in the air <laughs> I would have saved my rounds <laughs> so I was cussing at him uh, you know not profanely just like you know 
you could have let a man know that you were letting off your shots. So we go ahead and switch back to, over to the HE because now we have a lightning. And, you know, now we are in danger. Here's some torpedoes. And if you notice, I'm going to be just flopping the, the stick left, right, left, right. Slow down, speed up, because the last thing I want to do is give this guy any chance of a straight shot. And the reason we load the HE, of course, is so that if we do see him, we don't get over penetration. The HE will explode on contact and get damage where AP and these huge guns would just shoot right through him, only doing 10% of the maximum damage of the shell versus HE getting him and doing whatever the percentages of the guns firing. Uh, HE shells, I, I, I don't know the conversion. I don't have all the numbers. I really just try to play the game for fun. And there he is. So everybody's lining up on the lightning. And of course, him being a lightning, he's going to have those quick firing um, smoke screens. And I get a shell into him and I incapacitate something. And that's another thing HE does. HE, when it explodes, takes out modules. Now, yes, AP will destroy modules as well, but not as much as an HE shell does. An HE shell just devastates the modules. So we put a plane up in hopes to find him and also to get good aim off, but these planes, he's got to be a lot closer firing his gun on fire or something. He's spotting me. My partners are talking. We're all shooting out. We have a minute left in the game and we're just hoping to chase this guy down and we're gonna get this kill in here just to clean the map not trying to win harder you know there's not much we can do we have to push him we're taking the last base there's just nothing they're gonna do we're gonna hit a thousand points or we're gonna kill him or time's gonna run out we're just gonna beat him down in points that way but we can't it, you know we can't let ourselves sit still he could torp one of us and switch numbers around way too easy and here we go there he is so everybody's going to take one last punt at him shells out there yep. and he was all but dead when we next and i hit him and destroy something on a ship i'm not exactly sure wasn't damaged but it damn sure destroyed something and when we see this guy at the very last second we're going to see him and there he is he is on a gnat's hair. <laughs> he survived by the skin of his teeth. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the battle results screen. 119,000 damage. And I talked to both my partners. Uh, Red Lobster was 150,000 damage. And Bantha Fodder was 100 and change. I think 109,000. So a real team effort there. And when we look at the results, we came in number two three and four together right there we have six of the kills and the wichita did the best of course and flying a double flag i still made forty-seven thousand credits not too shabby well i hope you enjoyed this hope to see you on the next one bye